Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today, very proud to be unboxing Q Acoustics' BT3 uh, Bluetooth Media Active speakers. Now, these are the new gloss finish speakers. These are effectively their version 2s. The first BT3s are uh, actually very well reviewed. Uh, excellent sounding product. Um, they had a, a vinyl wrap available in a couple of colours and really sold very, very well. These are the newer versions, so we're going to call them V2. They're in a gloss finish. Uh, today we're unboxing them in red, just to sort of show off some of the colours that they have. But they're available in gloss black, gloss red and gloss white. The BT3, the version 2, has a, a better Bluetooth side of things and a, a ever so slightly better sound. Uh, but the, the build quality is better in this model, as you will see. Okay, firstly, let's start with the packaging. Um, it's a full colour box. Uh, the predecessor is a little bit more muted in its design. This one's got a little bit more glamour to it. Um, we've got an excellent pictorial of the picture itself in the colour that's in the box. We've got some basic information on the end as far as voltage, wattage, inputs and outputs, and a list of some of the accessories. It's also the product serial number. On the side, uh, an additional photo and uh, some basic information about um, how you can locate them and place them. At the bottom, of course, just a pretty boring standard packaging. Opening this is really easy. These aren't sealed uh, with tape or anything along those lines. Um, so it's a simple flap, no need for any other tools. Opening the, the box, got a bit of information on the top, more protection, and this is where, <laughs> this is the first part, where we start to see just how well accessorised this product is. It's, it's, it's awesome to see such an array of uh, accessories provided with a product that's relatively budget. So, let's have a look. Firstly, we've got its operational user manual, and it is very basic information because it's quite a, a basic product. Um, it's got everything in there that you would need, though. Um, most of the information there is more about pairing with Bluetooth than using the remote. Okay. Uh, speaking of the remote, it's got a little sort of credit card size remote, this little plastic unit, and beside it, the battery for that unit. It's got uh, a series of little rubber stick-on, uh, so if these are sitting on a hard surface, you can put those bump-ons on and stop it from vibrating or maybe scratching the bottom of the speaker. Um, the accessory continue. We have got a British power cord, uh, British configure eight. We've got some basic speaker cables. Uh, the BT3 has one sort of active speaker and the other one is passive, so it's got a stereo amplifier on one side. So connecting the two is via speaker cable. The stuff that they've provided you here is relatively long. If I remember, it's sort of three, four metres, which is quite a reasonable distance. Uh, it is worth noting that uh, better speaker cables have improved uh, the sound signature of the other speaker, though, so bear that in mind. Uh, we've got um, a New Zealand um, figure eight power cord. Uh, we've got a uh, Singaporean or some other voltage as well, and some of the more um, some more of the accessories. So this is a big, really good quality for uh, what it's going for. 3.5 mil cable. This one's two, three meters long, so long enough to plug your phone or something like that in. There's also a set of relatively reasonable quality RCA cables because this unit has a number of inputs and it's provided a cable for each of the ones that are available. Now it also has of course moulded polystyrene packaging so getting rid of that is kind of easy. Let's see inside the box again. There's um, a couple of pouches of desiccant. One, two, keep this product dry in transit. And then we start to have a look at the speakers themselves. Now, what I'm going to do is take take both out. They're covered in a protective cloth bag, so we'll just sit that one there. And then take the main one out. The main one's heavier as it has the amplification and things on board. Okay. So it's sealed at the base with one of these Q acoustics seals. Okay. Now both speakers have those seals. And the bag itself um, that it comes in is designed to protect the gloss finish inside. So let's have a quick look at the, at the passive speaker. You'll get an understanding of why I've chosen to unbox these gloss red ones when you get to see the product. So we'll pause and have a look at that for a moment as I sort of roll it around. The finish on is impeccable, it's second to none. Being the passive or, or second speaker, you'll see it just has a set of binding posts at the rear, 
and at the front a little bit of a blurb about uh, some of the awards that this product has won and uh, APTX Bluetooth standard and other things like that. Sitting that off to one side, we have a look at the, the main speaker, the master. This is a lot heavier as it has um, all of the amplification on board. Okay, so again, spinning it around and having a look. First thing is these, um, these are two-way speakers, so there's a tweeter and a mid-range driver. Looking at the top of the unit, we've got its control. Volume up and down, and power. Now the power button has a, a dual purpose. Pushing and holding turning, turns the unit on and off. Tapping it changes between the available inputs. Bluetooth, analog, digital. And if we look around at the back of this product, we'll get an opportunity to see those inputs. So if we start here, we've got the line 2 or 3.5mm stereo input. We've got a subwoofer output. Now that uh, can go off to any number of different subs. And a traditional left and right analog input. Beside it is one of the better features, and that's a optical digital input. Many of these speakers are being utilised uh, as television speakers uh, or as an alternative to sound bars. So being able to take the optical digital out of a TV is, is a really important little feature. Beneath it is a little bit of information in the model serial number, a, a little push button for Bluetooth pairing, uh, basic voltage and other information there, a main rocker switch for power, and a um, figure eight power input. This set of binding posts is, is actually an output, uh, as it has a stereo amp, about 50 watts, um, in onboard. This is then connected to the second pair, allowing it to drive them. So unlike most speakers, which this would be an in, this is in fact an out. Okay. So these excellent speakers, they sound great, they look awesome. Look at them there in, in, in gloss. Um, here we go. So, Q Acoustics, uh, BT3 version 2, uh, active powered speakers um, unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.